Hi guys, it's Luke at Luke's Affordable Paint Service. Um, this is going to be a video on how to make cheap, effective hills, and I mean dirt cheap. Like I said in the other video, like the blocking terrain, if you've got some polystyrene or high dense foam or like the Kingspan insulation foams, anything like that will work. Anything. Okay, so as long as you've still got that, you can make these for next to nothing. Now, I said earlier uh, in a post on Kings of Kings War Fanatics about adhesives and foam. Now, the stuff I use is decorating cork or caulk, but it's, it's caulk. Um, this stuff is uh, great because it's acrylic, it doesn't react with foam at all because uh, it's an acrylic filler, okay? But it's so strong. Now, how strong is a bit over the top for modelling, but as in I put dado rail up and you can pick your body weight up on the dado rail after about an hour. So it might be a bit OTT, but it works well and it holds everything in place. So for like good robust scenery, this stuff's awesome. Now I use it to stick it down and I also finish it like you do in decorating. Like say when you've uh, put dado rail on and you've got the, the edge, you know, like the gap from the wall to the thing, and then you, you use the, the cork to get rid of the gap. I use that as well. Another reason, it helps it stick to the base. Um, so I'll show you how I use this and I'll show you how good it is and how simple. Okay. Now to hills, um, I've already made the base. It's just out of a bit of hard cardboard. I've stuck it together, I've got some cocktail sticks on the seam uh, and things like that. It's a bit of a hard board is this, more, of a, more than cardboard, but I cut it with a knife and then I've beveled the edge as well, just using the knife. Um, I'm not so bothered about if it's a bit rough because there's filler and everything going over it anyway and it'll blend into the table. Um, so I'll take extra steps with this, um, with the base, but again, it took me minutes, it took me about five minutes to make that. Okay, um, so the tip is have an idea of what size bases you want, but shapes, anything like that, don't think about it. That'll come when you start putting your, your mountains on. Okay, right, guys, I'm going to get the camera set up. Uh, and then we'll take it from there. See you in a bit. Right, guys. So I had an old hill because um, I had a, well, it were a mountain actually um, that I made ages ago. Um, so I've found a section of it that I pulled off, and uh, I'm just it's, it's about the right size of the base, which I'm not going to have it the same size as the base. Um, I'm going to cut this down to to fit and look how I want. Now, it's all you need. Get yourself to your pound shop. If you're younger than 18 guys, go with a parent uh, and get them to buy and obviously sit with you um, while you're doing it because they can be quite dangerous, these things. Um, but literally, eight for a pound, you use, a, use it till it's blunt, throw it away. Um, but there's no, again, there's no skill, but guys, just you've got your base as a rough idea of the size of the, the bottom. So just literally just start cutting into this. I mean, I'm obviously looking at the camera while I'm doing it, which you'd, you'd be looking at it if you were doing it yourself. But there's, like I said, there's filler going on this as well, guys. Um, so don't be, you know, if you don't like what something looks like, it's not going to look flat because obviously you're getting filler and texture in and everything else from the filler. You can just paint this foam, uh, which I have done on the other side. Look, as in I did it with just spray cans, as in that's just black, grey and white. Uh, and it takes minutes to paint like that. Um, I don't mind doing things like that, but I that, to make it fit the rest of my tray, I'm just going to go and brush it all, really. Um, but that's just how I want to do it. Um, but like I said, guys, just keep chipping away at this till you get a sort of shape that you want. Um, and that, as you can see, I'm not really just not thinking, I'm not even looking at half of it. I'm just going around, shaving bits off. Uh, and getting some nice contours and everything else in the foam and just keep doing this till you, you, you're sort of happy with the, the, the shape okay um, now once you're happy with the shape I'm going to show you how to glue it all down okay so I'll just finish off making the shape out of doing what you've just seen me do for the last couple of minutes um, and then we'll crack on all right Right guys, so I've got all that cut out to a shape that I, I kind of want. 
Might be a bit flat on this end still, but I'll just cut a bit off before I, I do it if I don't like it once I get going. Um, but literally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find where this sits best on the on the base first. So I like that. That should be all right. Okay. Now I know there's uh, cocktail sticks uh, on this base, um, and that's obviously less surface uh, that it's going to adhere to, but another good reason of this because it's thick when you press it down it'll also it'll find a level anyway um so even so if you are joining cardboard or mdf or anything together this stuff it don't matter if you put it in an inch thick it still sets to itself so it's fine that way as well literally guys what you got to do we've got to get one of these guns i don't know what they're called <laughs> um but they're everywhere i mean you can't can't not find these little guns uh, they're normally with the cork and everything anyway. So all you've got to do is literally just put your your blobs of this on. Bear in mind this handle's actually like really knackered on my gun. I mean I've had this ages. Um, so literally just keep putting it on like that. <clears throat> I mean, you can just push it out of the tube if you wanted with a, a long stick, but I just find it a bit easier like this. And for the sake of a couple of quid, if you get yourself a gun, if you're going to use this method. Right, guys. Now, now I've got the enough uh, cork on there. Literally, you found how you want to place it. So, or did I? <laughs> yeah, I'll do it that way. Right. So literally get it on, just push it down and get it so it's it's sticking and you can feel it grabbing it guys. Um, now like I've said with this stuff before, you, you don't use it for finishing things uh, as in like if you do some tiling you go around the top of the tiles and things like that. What I'm going to do once this is set a little bit, I'm going to get this. I'm going to go round all the bottom edge and everything else and then just smooth it off and that will help it join to the base as well. So I'll do all that and then I'll show you the product. Alright guys, see you in a bit. Alright guys, um, right, I knew I'd find a use for these books somewhere and they're great for uh, holding down your phone. <laughs> right guys, enough of that. Um, what I've done with a cork um now it's all stuck on is i put this on just to help it you know so it stop it bending up and everything and keep it flat um but what i've done is round the edge well all i've done is i've piped it on like going round with your your cork and then you get yourself a coffee stirrer and then you just blend it in um again don't matter if it's rough because it's all free texture um and it's all texture you're going to use um and it's already starting to go off. I mean, bear in mind, guys, I only did this like five minutes ago. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, that's that's how you blend it all in and keep it all tied uh, and, and fastened to the bottom of the base. Um, I like putting my hills on base, especially because we've been modular and I do a lot of games where I like to move stuff around regular. I'd love to have a fixed board, but playing Kings of War and stuff like that, if you've got the stuff in the same place all the time, it becomes the same game over and over again. So this is why I have mats and modular terrain. Right, so I'm literally going to leave this to dry. Um, so I'm going to get an hour, I'm going to have a cup of tea, I'm going to crack on with a commission that I've got in. Um, and then I'll come back to this um, and I'll start adding rocks. Um, and when I mean rocks, it can, it's going to be other bits of foam. I've got some old fish tank key uh, pebbles uh, and some sand that I'm going to put down as well. Uh, and then I'll go around and I'll use all the filler as I did in the other video. But I'll film that when I'm doing it as well, guys. So, off for a brew. Catch you in a bit. Right, guys, that's now dry. Um, so all you've got to do is get some of your offcuts uh, when you've shaved the foam down. Literally plonk a couple of uh, dots of your cork where you want the other bits of your foam. Um, like you know fallen bigger rocks and things like that I mean that's a bit too big maybe um, 
but we are going to put some smaller bits in as well uh, like i've got some aquatic stones in it just not just stones gravel would do broken up slate whatever you want to use um i just use whatever's cheapest and whatever i've got laying around i mean that them <laughs> them stones they were given to me by um my stepmom because uh, they threw the fish tanks out and it's what they had left so i said i'll use it for modeling um but yeah literally guys all you've got to do is just break your foam up with your hands i mean you can cut it if you want but it seems to be more random when you break it and just get like little piles um, and just place them where you think some fallen rocks would be um, straightforward and just keep doing this you know don't go over the top guys because obviously you can put too much uh, around um, like I say just do that sort of thing uh, in a couple of places and then we're going to put some smaller rocks and a bit of sand over it as well and that'll just really finish it off guys so i'll keep doing that and i'll keep going around um and i'll show you when it's done hi guys um right i've got all the rocks stuck on there now um from proper rocks to just foam bits that you know like off cuts of foam and stuff like that and as you can see that's going to be quite an impressive hill um so it's going to really fit in with my rock outcrops and everything you could just paint this as it is. Now, you could just spray it with spray cans, three different cans from different heights and stuff like that. I've, I've done that before, as in, as you can tell there. But the problem with, with spraying just onto foam is it's really soft. Um, I mean, you could lacquer it and everything, but it, it will still work its way thin. Um, it's, it's some gaming terrain, it's gonna get knocked, it's gonna get bashed. So, if it's something you're not using regular and it's you know it's on your own table you're not taking it places just painting that would be okay uh, but with me I like to take my terrain places if somebody's not got any and they do get used a lot and knocked a lot and everything else so um, I put filler on mine one it adds more texture as well two makes it a hell of a lot more robust um, and I prefer the effect especially when you start painting it up with your, with your brushes and dry brushing um, it just it'll fit in better with all the terrain and it just looks a bit more well done um, so what I'm going to do guys I'm going to paint it all in filler like you've seen before on my other video um, and then I'll use my homemade texture paint on the base and all the flat areas as well so like anywhere where there's going to be grass and stuff I'm going to paint that um, with the my own mud that's sterling mud or whatever you call it um, so on their base and everything and then tie that all in as well so when we start flocking this up it'll really pop out okay guys right so I'll start chucking all my filler on and everything else I'll do a time lapse video because there's no point showing you how to do it because I've shown you on two or three videos now how I do that so I'll do that step uh, I'll get the all the earth uh, texture on there I'll go spray it brown and then I'll paint it and I'll show you the finished product because it's exactly the same steps as what you've seen on the rock outcrops guys so if you've not seen that go check that video out uh, and it, you literally finish this exactly the same way guys so thanks a lot I'll speak to you in a bit right guys so I've got the textures on. All the white is just standard filler with no, nothing in it, just filler and PVA glue. Um, and then I've just obviously dabbed it on, stippled it on just to get a bit more texture in areas and things like that. And it makes it a lot more harder wearing. You've got the uh, texture paint that I make, um, just using filler paint and sand. Um, and I've put that on all the flat areas where I'm gonna be putting grass. Um, and what I've added as well is I've put some slate on now okay as well so like in areas where there's just like flatter areas and bits of fallen rock i've put some bits of slate on there as well um so when i'm painting it, it's just something else to pick out okay um i will be putting them uh, gauze bushes on from jijima uh, that i've reviewed in my uh, weekly reviews um sorry i'm a bit delayed on that guys i'm I were hoping to put a product on a week uh, but i haven't been buying anything um because my washer's broke 
um, and things like that. So it's been one of them weeks where more money's come out that's gone in. <laughs> so I've not been buying things like I usually do to try. Um, but that's why I thought I'd do this uh, mountain video so you can see how it is to build just quick and easy terrain. Um, I'll quickly show you these wet super glue still on it and it is still very wet. Um, but as you can see, there's all like the bits of piled, um, what do you call it, slate and everything. Um, hang on. Right there, look. And we've got some on top. I'm even going to put like the, this little dig out here. Ah, I've got super gun figures. And this little fill out here. I'm going to put some water in there and we get the water running down into this little ravine here as well. Um, just for an extra an extra aesthetic um, I'm going a bit over the top because I'm just trying new things as well guys uh, like using water effects and trying to you know emulate like little bits of trickling water and things like that um, so I'll show you how that turns out and if it turns out well I'll then do a video on how to do that so guys I hope that's been helpful um, I'll get it all painted uh, and show you the finished product in a few pictures at the end or I might even do a quick video uh, but I'll see how late it is because <laughs> um, I've got to this is going to take a couple hours to dry now properly is this so cheers guys I'll catch you in a bit right guys <clears throat> so it's all done um, I have missed a load of steps out because like I said um, if you watched how to make uh, this little uh, piece of blocking terrain exactly the same steps guys exactly the same steps of dry brushing and painting and things like that I've missed the water out um, because I'm going to do that in another video one because I haven't done it myself um, as, well I've messed with the water as you've seen but I've not actually made it active as in like a waterfall I've not done that before so I wanted like my full concentration on doing this <clears throat> sorry I'm losing my voice um, but if, if you have a closer look as, as you can see I've dry brushed the active areas uh, white um, to make it look a bit more like white water um, but you get a really nice effect and so I've only used half a tube doing that as well um, so they're well worth the pound that you pay for them um, but all you do is you literally put it in and you just start pulling it um, get a couple of minutes and start pulling it when you start getting a skin on top just keep pulling it to where you want it and then just keep adding a bit more and a bit more and a bit more and keep pulling it and pulling it and pulling it so you get the desired effect and that's literally all I did, I did nothing special, no special tools I used a hairdryer for a little bit to speed up some processes because um, I got to a point where I was like, ah, it's not going to work but then I got the hairdryer out and it, it started drying quicker and I could play with it and pulling it more but I will do a video on how to do that guys but literally, like I've said, you don't need to break the bank to fill a 6x4 table uh, with terrain <clears throat> I am thinking about doing uh, these as like box sets as into like a full 6x4 table for like tournament uh, you know events and things like that and sell them on ebay um, but that's something I'm going to think about later on but guys if you like these videos and if you like this what I've done just comment guys um, like I said like share subscribe tell all your friends um, and let's let's start getting creative again I mean it's, it's since you know, GW used to tell you how to do all this stuff in the magazines. I don't do it anymore. So people like me and Trade Shooter and uh, all the guys that are out there, that, you know, showing you how to build all this terrain for, for next to nothing, um, is helping everyone out. So let's keep this community going, guys, and let's stop spending stupid money on terrain. Cheers, guys.